Hi, it's me, Annie. <laughs> it's been a long time since, I, since I've done a voiceover video. Um, and I'm pretty nervous, to be honest with you. So, firstly, here's my little um, pencil pouch, pencil holders. <laughs> it says, hi! <laughs> Super cute. I love him. Anyways, I am filming with my left hand, so this video is like sort of shaky. It's because my left hand is like constantly shaking. So the first thing you see is this, um, what, what do you guys call it? Just a blade, you know? I use this for um, sharpening pencils, for cutting tapes when I have to tape down my paper and for cutting paper in certain sizes. So usually if I, if I have like A3 and I want size A4 or if I have A4 and I want size A5, you know, you get the gist, gist of it. And then I have this. Hey, look, <laughs> this is really old. Um, um, what is it called? Oh my god. My brain just farted. Um, oh lord. Hmm, what is it called? <laughs> okay, I, I cannot recall the word, word but uh, uh, you know, when you measure things, what do you call it? Um, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> And then I have this this Faber Castell pigment pen. Just um, it's, it's zero point uh, zero point two. It's like super super tiny. Uh, I don't usually use pigment pens like black ones for liner and stuff. But uh, if I do, this is my go-to. And then some just really basic, you know, graphite pencils. Two B basic 8b this one is my favorite especially if we're, you know in art academy if we're doing like live drawing I, I i love contrast when i'm doing like graphite with graphite pencil i love this i love this stuff and then i recently got this i got this recently but it's like almost gone um this is supposed to be activated with water um, but I use this for sketching because I, li I like the texture it has. And then, like another pencil, paper castle. Oh, sorry about that. And here I have my favorite baby. This is um, Statler. Mars Micro 0.5 millimeters. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It has a tiny, tiny little, not so tiny actually, <laughs> but um, it's super cool. It's super, super nice. It has super nice grip, you know. I just love this. Um, and it has tiny er eraser at the head, at the bottom. And for that, I usually use to be um Kohinoor Kohinoor I mean I call it Kohinoor but uh, <laughs> I guess you guys call it Kohinoor her thumb oh, oh god I can't I, there's no way that I'm pronouncing this word uh I believe some of us call it a paper spreader uh it's basically a recycled paper uh and you use it for blending and stuff this the white pen I use. This is, uh, I call it jelly roll. I guess that's how I say it. Made in Japan. Sakura, I guess number 10. And it has pretty large tip. I'm almost out of it. Like it's super pigmented. Super, super pigmented. I love this stuff. You know, I'm getting this as soon as I'm out of it. And then another white pigment I use for the highlights is this Pintor 
or pilot pintor. I believe this is also made in Japan. I believe the pilot is a um, Jap Japanese brand. So what you're supposed to do with this, you're supposed to shake it first. That's the instruction. And it, then it, look, it has so much pigment in it. This is crazy. I love this stuff. I'm also almost out of this baby. And then this is my tiny, tiny little sharpener made in China, it says here. And I believe this is the brand, you know, you can never go wrong with this type of like metallic sharpeners. There's this knitting eraser. I've been using this for over this one particularly uh, for, I believe, over two or three years now. Um, it's really helpful to like erase part of the sketch and do the fresh line art over it. Uh, and then just regular eraser. I believe this is the same brand as my mechanical pencil, so the Stettler, I guess. And so, okay, so basically this is all I use for line art and sketching, drawing and all that good stuff. And now let's move on to watercolor stuff. Start with some of my favorite um, brushes. So the this is the newest purchase. You see, when you guys ask me about brands, the reason why I can't answer what brand it is, it's because when I, whenever I pur purchase them, this is all that says artist brush. So it, there, there is no brand on it. It's not like I, I don't want to promote brand or something. I, I just basically do not actually know what brand it is. Uh, I use this for like adding blush and freckles and stuff. It's super nice. I love it and you're gonna love it. You, you should try. You know, it's it, it has regular thickness. At some point it gets like... This is adorable, first of all, and it feels so nice. I love it. And this is my favorite <laughs> brush of all time. I paid less than a dollar for this one. I've, I've been using this for years. Um, just band-aid on it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of wet now because I've been using it recently. It needs to dry properly. This can hold so much water. I love this one and it has so much control over it. You're gonna love this too. However, there's no brand name and stuff like that on it. And it's pretty old and beaten up. But um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Marius Water Watercolors. It's a Chinese brand. Um, Marius Watercolors Artist Brush Number 13. It's a round brush. It's 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 my favorite BB. Now this one, I usually use this for covering like a background. If I'm using like real basic colors. This one can also hold a lot of water. You you actually, even though it's pretty big, you actually can have a lot of control over it. This was originally supposed to be used on um, oil painting in my art class, but I, I use it for watercolors and gouache. Now this is what it says, tan style. Uh, Etis, I believe, in Hong Kong. Uh, now, this was something that was sent to me by the the brand Betty Hay Hayways, I believe. It's, your, it's number zero. Pretty tiny. I love those brushes, actually. Um, I did post about them. They're super pretty. Really beautiful. Quality is real nice. And uh, the people behind the company are real nice, too. So, you know. You should give it a try if you're interested in them. And then this is my big baby. Big baby, it sounds strange. Now, I believe this actually has a brand name, but it's in Russian and it plus it's cover, covered up. So I believe this is supposed to say Belka, which is like squirrel in Russian. So this is a squirrel hair. It, this can hold 
enormous amount of water but it, it's not so easy to control however i really love this brush i really do now moving on to the actual watercolor i usually use uh, a marius watercolors here are like the older version of it here's the new so yeah it needs to be clean my sister was also using this pen to paint so it's kind of messy you can hold it like this i think it was like eight packs or something but it's um pretty nice quality store my watercolors in it I use tubed watercolors and I just stuck them in here. Oh, how do I? Yeah, this is not so fun with one hand. This part is used for usually like a gold acrylics and stuff. Now here I have some... This was actually supposed to be like a beauty sponge or makeup sponge. Like it, the one you remove your makeup with and exfoliate. But I use this to like clean my brushes and stuff. Totally forgot to mention, but uh, I also use, uh, of course, like a paper towel or whatever you prefer for cleaning brushes and drying them and stuff like that when I'm coloring. And this is the, the glue I use to, you know, stick my um, loose glitter and the dried flowers to the paper to the painting um we call this stuff pva glue in my art academy but it says white glue um non-toxic so that's great for me <laughs> so yeah it's basically it the glitter you can grab glitters like this in any arts and craft stores basically at least in my country that's how it works and here are some of my um <laughs> Glitter glues that I use. A lot of people thought it was like a lip gloss and stuff, and they thought I was running the painting with the lip gloss. Now it's glitter glue. It's, it's, <laughs> it sticks. It stays there. So the brand is. It says Course or Goddess or not really sure how to pronounce this one. And those three are basically the same brand. And then this guy. This says glitter glue. On it, that's all it says. So, you know, I'm not sure what the brand name is. And this is another kind of glitter. My sister gifted me this is a while ago. It says the, the Gypsy Shrine Iridescent Diamond Cosmetic Glitter to make you sparkle. Cute. Um, <laughs> let me open this up real quick. So it is a really, really pretty and sparkly. Um, I'm not sure what, where she got them. Probably an online store. I don't know. Um, but it's super cute. It's really beautiful. And it says for makeup. So I'm assuming it's more safer than the regular glitter. But it works great on, you know, paintings too. So this is basically the one I use. I don't know what the, the brand is. The gypsy shrine, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then here we go. This is my watercolor pencils. Garden Dash or Current Dash. <laughs> Swiss made. Um, I believe those are pretty expensive. At least in my country, those are really expensive, but it was actually gifted to me. <laughs> so. Here we go, you, you open this up. Now I'm almost out of black. I don't I do not only use this for like color, the 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 paint but also for the, the line art sometimes. So those are really 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 great quality but um, in my opinion pretty expensive but you know good quality there Anything that's good is usually pretty expensive, so those are great. Totally recommend it. It's, it's totally worth the money if you have that money. Uh, then um, this is the 
watercolor sketchbook. This is actually my first watercolor sketch. Oh god. This is actually my first ever watercolor sketchbook that I ever got. Uh, the Mossery Company, they were kind enough to send me this baby. And here's my initials on it. Oh, so cute! <laughs> um, the paper is 300 GSM, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And there are my babies. Let me show the texture. It's pretty, pretty nice. Can hold a bunch of water. And so, you know, it's pretty fun to create with this stuff. I like it. I'm currently using this one for sketching. And this is for my sketches and some liners and ideas. Uh, Brindis Deleroni. 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 <laughs> Not sure. Now here's what it says on the back. It says artist sketchbook, ivory. Um does it all the stuff it can handle, I believe. Mm. Now I tried water coloring on it a while ago. It's kind of floppy. Old sketch. <laughs> Aww. I created this one a while ago. It's like a three years ago or something. Ah, it's so cute. It's actually not that bad now that I think about it. It's just watercolor. It can actually hold them pretty well. So this is actually great for sketching. <clears throat> and then lastly, for watercolor paper, Paper, watercolor paper. I recently brought this one because I was out of paper and it's, it's Russian watercolor paper. Um, I started sketching on this, didn't work. This is the last page I have. I'm almost out of paper. Um, now, this is this is what it looks like. What if you? thought that I was using canvas for painting. No, it's actually watercolor paper and it's super thin. I'm not really a huge fan of thin thin ones, but it, it's not that bad. It's cold press, can handle a lot of water even though it's super super thin. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, you just basically ask for cold pressed watercolor paper with canvas texture or canvas like texture and I believe the most brands have this textured watercolor I usually usually buy the different brands but I don't have them with me right now so this is like all that I can demonstrate but this is, these are my favorite kind of uh, textured watercolor papers oh, I hope this was helpful <laughs> I really hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or ideas, you know, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to film more videos. Comment them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!